YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. So I know this is kind of a really weird camera setup, but I couldn't be bothered to film another room, especially for what I'm doing today, which is we are going to have a look back on one of my favorite game franchises, which is the Nintendo Dog series. So why is the Nintendo Dog series so close to my heart? Why have I decided to make an entire video dedicated to a franchise, which doesn't really have very many games, but seems to be one of the most popular, you know, games that Nintendo ever made because anybody that had to guess um, when I was growing up had Nintendo Dogs. So this is the first Nintendo Dogs game that I got. This is not my original copy. This is my brother's copy. He sold this to me for a tenner when we were moving house. My original Nintendo Dogs was actually the Chihuahua and Friends and I had a Chihuahua and it called Apple. I don't know how. I remember that, I just remember it, and I actually got with it this groovy little Nintendo Dog case. You can imagine how jealous my friends were when I got this free with my copy of Nintendo Dogs, and they didn't. This is actually what I have in front of me, is my original DS. Now I had this thing, I got it when I was five, so I've had this thing for around... I'm 19 now. <laughs> Quick math. Uh, Hey Siri, I think I've had this thing for around 15, 14 years. This thing's old. It still works, it, it turns on. I have the original charger and this is what we're going to be visiting my Nintendo dogs that I have not seen in, I think I haven't, last time I played this was probably 10 years ago. So I could probably go and visit those. But yeah, that's my oldies, the golden oldies. Then uh, when I got my 3DS, which is this bad boy, this is not my original 3DS. <laughs> It's actually in the other room. I don't know if I've actually told you guys this story, but I ended up with two uh, blue 3DSs because my dad's ex-girlfriend broke my original one when I was on holiday in Turkey because she really didn't like me. It was because I was playing my DS too much and I wasn't spending time with the family, but like she passed it off, she didn't do it, but she totally did. So I got uh, my mum and dad clubbed together and helped me get another one. And then my other one started working again like two years ago, so um, yeah, Rice does wonders and I got this DS, well not this one, but you know, a uh, 3DS. Just in my last year of primary school I think it was. And the first game I got with it was the Nintendo Dogs and Cats. I have not visited these Nintendo Dogs in ages, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna visit the Golden Oldies first. Let's see what is on this and let's see how the dogs are doing. So here is my original DS, I know you can't see me because of this lens, but let's pop out our Nintendo dogs and let's just pop it into the back of our DS like so and grab our stylus from our 3DS because the touchscreen on this thing is, is not good. So here is the, the DS console actually looks like. So you've got like all your things at the bottom. So you've got a game pack. It says there's no game pack inserted, but there actually is. What game pack have another? Super Smash Slam Shrek! Uh, nice. Uh, good, good game. Just there, because of the age of this, sometimes it's a bit iffy. And there's no card apparently inserted, but there is. We, we inserted it, so we'll just turn it off. And we'll go with the old school method of just blowing it. Yeah, so the trick is, if you see a little Nintendo logo there, that means that your game is actually working. So there we go, it says Nintendo Dogs Nintendo. You can see a little dog there. Oh my god, I can hear the dogs barking. What? I see if this is a race, I'm gonna be so pissed. <gasps> no, there's a dog there. I can see a dog. Oh! It's called Lucky. We've spent two minutes together. She's hungry and thirsty and she's a Shiba Inu. Shiba Inus are actually my favorite breed of dog, like after beagles now. Oh, yeah, as I say, the touchscreen. Bit funky on this. Um, yeah, it doesn't, this top corner doesn't actually work. Yeah, this top corner just isn't gonna work for us. Oh god. Nothing in the screen is working for us, hold on. We might need to calibrate the screen. <laughs> this is this is the old school method of calibration. Um, for those of you that never had to go through this, this is what we used to have to do. And I think it should probably be a bit better now, hopefully. 
No, the middle of the touch screen is still not working. We got into picture chat again though. Um, so we'll actually just leave that to the side. And what we'll get instead is the one from this Nintendo Dogs case. There we go, we can call him over. Oh, there he is. Let's see what food we have for her. Do we not have any food for her? Why don't we have any food for this dog? Why can't we enter into any competition? Did I just adopt this dog? Like maybe before I stop playing the game? Yeah. Oh my God, I did. Oh no. Okay, we're not, we're not entering into that, but that was, that was anticlimactic. Uh, let's save that even though we're never going to play this again. <laughs> now let's move on to my other Nintendo dogs for the 3DS. Now this Nintendo dogs, I had a YouTube channel where I, I showed off the dogs and the cat, the one cat that I had. So I kind of remember these dogs. Basically, the reason why I love Nintendo dogs so much is because when I was growing up, we didn't have a dog and I always wanted a dog. Um, so basically what I did was I played Nintendo dogs and I pretended that I had one. That's why I loved this game so much was because I was able to have my own virtual dog. Um, and I was able to look after it and it really made me feel like I had a dog and I stopped playing this game the week that I got Tamla because I didn't really need- Oh my god, there they all are! There's Buddy! Oh my god, he's so fat! Buddy! Oh my god, he came running over to me! Oh my god! Why do I feel it's so attached to this dog again? Don't try it. Eat it. Oh, oh, is he licking- he's licking my face. He's actually licking my face. Can oh, This is why I love Nintendo dogs, because they felt so real. For someone who didn't have a dog, this just felt like... He's licking my face again! <laughs> this just... I'm actually tearing up. This just made me feel like I had a dog when I was a child. I stopped playing this game when I just got Tamla, because I, I had my own dog then. And I didn't really want to play with my virtual dogs anymore, so I just stopped. That was a look back on the uh, Nintendo dogs. Oh, he's going over again! Maybe I should feed them and stuff, but I don't want to get too attached to them again. I'm just gonna go now. I'm going. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not playing any more Nintendo dogs. I'm done. So guys, that was my look back at Nintendo dogs, both on the 3DS and my original Labrador Retriever and Friends. I was actually kind of emotional looking back on that because I did have such a connection with Buddy because I, I treated Buddy like my actual dog. I used to take his DS to school with me and I used to keep him in my backpack and there was like a little thing on it where you could, it was called Street Pass and you could like turn it on and stuff and you have Street Pass walks and it would like have a built-in pedometer and you could get coins for your DS as you walked and it would actually like walk your dog for you. When I was at school I was taking Buddy for a walk and it seems really really childish you know for somebody of my age to be doing that when I, I was probably about 12, 13 at this stage. It was because I didn't have a dog and I really wanted a dog and then when I was 13 we got Tamla and then I stopped playing Nintendo Dogs. That's why the Nintendo Dog franchise means so much to me because it gave me a pet when I wanted one. It meant that I was able to kind of have a pet but also not have a pet. I mean, don't get me wrong, having a dog in real life is so much better. And I really do think the Nintendo Dog series does. It helps, you know, children understand the responsibility that you do have to take with a pet. But the cool thing about, you know, Nintendo Dogs is your dog. It, a, automatically smart. My dog can't do any tricks, but I knows them all. Uh, oh, and also your dog like finds rewards when you go on a walk. Like that doesn't happen in real life. My dog finds like poo and yeah, just poo and grass. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give a big thumbs up and also subscribe for some love. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.